Hi, my name is Susan Salvo, and today we're going to be discussing geriatric massage. Um, I want to first of all thank Ms. Pat for being here today, Pat Saylor. I also want to thank our, uh, our techno ladies, uh, Melissa and Andy. Um, hopefully you'll be seeing them a little while later. Um, a lot of what happens in geriatric massage starts during the intake or the interview that has to happen before a, a session begins, and this is part of treatment planning. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate an interview so you can kind of see the kind of information that we need to, to have before we start our sessions. Um, so I want to go ahead and start with Ms. Pat. Uh, Ms. Pat, tell me a little bit about what your goal is for today's session. You know what to say. <laughs> um, do you want Just, stress relief? Do you want pain relief? I would like pain relief, particularly in my neck and shoulders. <laughs> so your neck and shoulders are giving you some problems today? Yes. Tell me a little bit about um, your health condition. Um, are you active? I'm very active. Uh, generally speaking, I'm quite flexible except my shoulders. I've had arthritis in the upper spine since my 40s, and uh, that affects the arms, of course. So but, what uh, but kind otherwise, of limitations do you have? My left shoulder has a frozen shoulder. It lifts only this high. Being right-handed, I have kept the, the right one pretty mobile, can reach up as such. Okay. And, uh, I'm do you do physical now. therapy, or you just do you just keep Having it been a nursing assistant, I know range of motion exercises, and I do them sporadically. <laughs> okay, good, good. Um, uh, bone health, have you had a bone scan recently? Your bone a, a little over a year ago. I am taking Boniva. And I think I've been on it three or four years. So they did a follow-up, and I'm not losing anymore. Do you have any, so where's your bone loss right now? I don't know the percentage, but I have lost two and a half inches at least. In, in height? In height, Okay. Yeah. Um, any bone loss in the neck area? If there was, they didn't comment. Okay, but lower back, uh, is any bone loss in lower back? Spine. No. Now, in my 40s, they did say that the cartilage was collapsing in the second, fourth, and fifth vertebrae. So I guess that was bone loss there, okay. or friction. <laughs> okay, good. Um, tell me a little bit about medication use. I know you talked about Boniva. Mm -hmm. What other kind of medications? Are well, I take Malax, Malax, I can't say it, Maloxicam. <laughs> and what is that for? It's for arthritis. It's uh, a new one they've added. They thought Nexium. And I take Nexium for uh, reflux, which is very common at my age. Have um, asthma, and I do take allergy medications for that. Okay. And um, any side effects related to any of those medications? Not that I'm aware of. Dry mouth, and because uh, the asthma, they dry you out. It's singular, and um, okay. an inhaler, and they dry your throat. <laughs> okay. Um, when you go to sleep at night, what is the most comfortable sleeping positions? Actually, because of GERD, I, re I really feel better on my back. Couldn't always sleep that way. My tendency is to lie on my left side, left with, side? with my leg drawn up. <laughs> okay. right and leg. you said on your back. Are you flat on your back or are you elevated somewhat? I have to elevate the, the pillow. Actually, with GERD, you're supposed to elevate the head of the bed if you can. Um, any allergies or, or skin c conditions that I need to know about? No, the, the allergies are inhalant, mold and, uh, and uh, dust, okay. but no medications. Okay. I know you talked about me concentrating on your neck and shoulders. Any areas that I should avoid? No, other than, you know, if you stretch the left one, it's going, I'm going to know it, the left arm. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to let me know what I hope to. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nothing in particular. Okay. And your feet? No, they're all right. Okay. So I should avoid them or I can work on You can them. work on them. My right ankle is pretty much enlarged from arthritis, and it does bother me at night sometimes. Okay. I mean, it's noticeably probably 50% thicker than the left on the right bone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, quite a bit. But uh, and I, I walk a little differently because of it. So, yeah, that would help. And your last massage, not. how long has it been? Oh, probably 12 years. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and you had, it was a good experience? Yes. Okay, good. It might have been 10. It was here at Oak Works. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And any questions for me? No. Okay, well, let's get started.